Good evening, everybody. Um, so I've been, I'm a parent at Elliott Ranch Elementary to two students. Um, I've kind of been at a loss of what direction to go. Um, my oldest is in sixth grade and she's been receiving some very inappropriate comments um, from a student in her class. I've notified the teacher, vice principal, as well as the principal. The teacher has yet to reach out to me. Um, the vice principal has been my main point of contact. Um, I guess after following that book, I can say some of the comments my daughter has received has been nigger, cotton picker dupe, blacky, um, and they've been consistent. It's not; it hasn't just been a one-time uh, ordeal. Um, I've once again, I haven't received not one um, response from a teacher. Um, when I've spoken with the vice principal, he's told me on several different occasions that he's kind of at a loss of what to do. He told me that he has spoke, he has not spoken to parents and I feel like parents should be informed. He told me that the, the student in question has of course denied these statements. Um, and that he told the vice, he told the vice principal, you know, I don't want to get in trouble because I would not be able to attend any summer activities. You know, currently at the moment, I don't really care if he attends any summer activities. I feel like he shouldn't receive any type of summer fun because of the things that he's continuing to say to my child and to other students in the classroom. So, I, um, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do. Another incident is on the 17th, my son's front tooth was knocked out and I was not informed. I received no communication whatsoever. And um, I informed them, I called the school and said, I asked what the protocol was when a student gets hurt. They told me and I informed them that my child's tooth was knocked out. I got no letter from the nurse. I got a, no letter from the teacher, anything. And then that's when the vice principal called me again to one, follow up on my son's missing tooth who's in kindergarten, and two, to follow up on the student who had, because multiple things had happened with the racism, racist comments. So he followed up on that. And then I demanded that parents be told. And then finally, after that, I have dates of everything. I got, I received an email from the principal stating that they don't inform parents of any, rep, you know, any consequences that are done. Mm -hmm. But I know no consequences have taken place because he's in my daughter's class and he's been in every class. I know besides the talking to, that's all that's transpired. And so I'm kind of at a loss. So I figured I'd come here and speak publicly.